and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a Q&A. You guys asked some questions on Instagram and I'm trying to go back to that post so I can find it. Get some of these questions a rolling so I can do my makeup because I got things to do. Okay. Got things to do. Uh huh. So I'm going to put my phone right here. We just going to read off some stuff. That ain't going to work. That's, that's fine. All right, so the very first question, how did you get over your breakup? Wow, you guys just go straight in. Okay. Um, my hair is beautiful, right? Okay, I, gotta, I have to still stay on task with what makeup I'm doing. So, so I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Face Base as my moisturizer slash just a base. And then I'm going to go on top of that with the Tatcha um, Silk Canvas as my primer. So... Um, what was the question again about my breakup child? Let me see. I mean, it's a girl. My bad. How did I get over it? Okay. Um. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I really honestly just, I mean, I just did like, he wasn't trying to talk to me. He broke up with me, by the way. <laughs> he broke up with me, but it's like he kind of always broke up with me because um, I actually have no idea. Like, that man is just very controlling. And I'm, as y'all can see, I'm just not the type that you can just control. So, I don't know. I got over it really quickly, actually. Because my mom, <laughs> let me tell y'all something about my mama. She the type, first of all, we talk on the phone every day. But she the type, she'll be like, if I'm on the phone with her crying, why you crying? You too good for that. He, he ain't good enough for you. Like, she will hammer it in. Like, everything that she wanted to say... While you was talking to that person, she gonna just let it all out of this <laughs> And my mom was just, like, going in, basically. Like, you should have known this was gonna happen. Like, he's done this before. Like, it, it, this time, you need to just get over it. And honestly, I did. Like, I had, um, I just started communicating with, like, friends and stuff more to get over it. And it worked. Like, I just started putting that time that I was gonna give him on other people and boom and on myself of course like i was just like let me just work a little bit harder and then when i started working harder and i let his ass go everything just started like my life started changing for the better and it's just like god telling you god telling you that's a good decision young lad <laughs> um i'm gonna be using the laura mercier my lights are super bright and i got like sunlight over here so I'm using Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. Oh, trying to talk too much. And um, this is in the shade Ganache. Is it Ganache or Ganache? I don't know how you say it. I don't know how you say it. But that's what I'm going to be using. Oh, I've already done my brows, guys. Well, I concealed them. I haven't actually done them. I conceal first, and then I just kind of go in with my little brow thingy that I got from Benefit. Well, I bought from Benefit. I didn't get nothing. So, um, I just kind of go in and just draw out. Just basically filling in inside the lines <laughs> where I concealed. I like to go in with that darker color first on the outer end. And you guys can see, since I have brows, like, it's quick. Especially if you just conceal them first. I think if you conceal them first anyway, it's just kind of quicker. Well, for me personally. Okay. But yeah, it didn't take me, it didn't take much. I just did it. Like it was just something that had to be done. And then you have, you have people around you that didn't necessarily care for that person anyway. Not to say none of my friends really cared for him, but it was just like, you know, it continuously happened. So at that point, people were just like, all right, whatever. Would I go back to a nine to five? job um if you guys don't know i'm doing youtube full time now so um her question is would i go back to a nine to five the answer to that question is no i will not i actually don't believe in them anymore but like, actually <laughs> i should never believed in them like my jobs were always to get me further like to get me to a point where i don't have to work a nine to five and so i never really understood the mindset of working to only work for someone else your entire life. But everybody's not, doesn't have an entrepreneur mindset. I definitely get that. 
but um yeah I just never had that mindset of working a nine to five so since I've been blessed to be able to get out of it beast mode <laughs> when are the vlogs coming back um the vlogs of I kind of y'all last night I kind of got in the mood to vlog I don't know why I don't really do anything it's just me and Sky in the house I don't go anywhere but if you guys really go ham in the comment section of this video and you say you want some vlogs I'm just gonna vlog I mean I do put things together around the house and I do I do you know I do things I don't just sit around and watch TV that's for damn show <laughs> so yeah if y'all want vlogs let me know um, do I want to be a mom someday? Of course! I'm already a mom, a dog mom now, but yeah, I want to meet a guy, and of course, of course I do. I want to meet a guy first, then I want to get engaged, and then I want to get married, and then I want to have a baby. That's how I want to do it. Do I see myself branching out and doing something other than YouTube? Um, yes and no. Yes, I want to do things other than YouTube, like have different, like, brands and stuff. But I don't know if I'll ever actually just stop YouTube. Just because, I'm going to just keep it funky with y'all. This is the smartest money. Like, this, YouTube is smart money. Like, you make money in your sleep. Your videos are still there. And anytime someone clicks that, you're making money. So if I continue to grow this platform and continue making this money, I don't... Unless I just, like, burn myself out, which I am not going to do. But, yeah, no, I I, I kind of want to stay here. Like, I'm not just going to be like, oh, yeah, I gained all these people that love me, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs> I know a lot of people do that, but I don't I don't feel like I'm going to do that because, I, first of all, I like y'all. Y'all keep me sane, but at the same time, that money is good. It, like, I like, I like that type of money. Like, I don't want to work extra hard to make my money. I mean, I know I work hard, y'all. I know I this isn't like a walk in the park, but it's something I'm comfortable with and it's not hard for me anymore. Like I've been doing this for so long that it's so comfortable and I I enjoy learning different things and growing and changing things and I just like it. I hope that YouTube just becomes much more than what it is today. And just continues to grow because this platform is bomb.com. What advice would you give an upcoming YouTuber? Um, be consistent as hell. Post videos like a mug. It don't matter if nobody watches it. It doesn't matter. Stop caring about who's liking your videos and who's following you. And just put it out. Because if you get... Let's say you go and you spamming folks and you like, follow me, follow me, and you get all these followers. <laughs> you're going to be looking real dumb when your videos are not getting views because the views is what makes you the money, not the followers. So somebody subscribing to you, and that shit don't mean nothing. Do you hear me? It means nothing. No, it means nothing. Your engagement, the people interacting with you, the people who actually like you is what makes you the money, okay? I would just say post. Post what you like. What you want, what you like, it don't matter if it's stupid. If you like to pop pimples for a living, pop your damn pimples and get paid. If you like to clip your toenails in the camera, that's just what you like. There are millions and millions of other people out there that like the same thing that you like. Just be you. That's what people mean by just be you. They're not saying just be you how they taught you to be in school. They're saying literally be you. Like whatever you do in the, in, in the dark. Like, if you bring that to light and other people are going through the same thing and they like the same thing you like, and then you just started some shit. You just started some shit. And now you getting paid. Like, that little boy ain't making all this money. $22 million at the age of seven. Unboxing toys. There's so many. There's a market for everything, guys. There's a market for everything. Um, I forgot to tell you guys what concealer I was using. I was using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and now I'm going in and setting that with the Too Faced Born This Way Powder. I really want to do YouTube, I, I have YouTube videos. I really want to do um, more makeup tutorials where I show you guys, like, 
my best methods because I know this is kind of fast. Sky, sit down, baby. Sit down. Um, but yeah, be yourself and start making videos and make them consistent. Like a lot of y'all ask me to help y'all with YouTube channels and stuff, but you don't even post videos weekly. Like I don't get that. You gotta just do it. You there's no way to get it and other than to do it. I've been on here for 10 years and you probably just found me, right? Right? But there's people who do that shit in a year. I can't tell you how to do it within like a year because I didn't, you know, do it in a year. I guess I could because I did grow a lot this year. Um, and I know exactly what I made I did differently. I just started being myself. Honestly, it did not take off until I got out of my relationship. And I kid y'all not, my life did not take off my views. And all that did not, actually it didn't do that until I quit my job. But I'm not telling nobody to quit their job for YouTube. Especially if you don't think that you can do it. But I kind of knew I could do it. Because I've been doing it for so long. And I was like, I can put my all into it. And I just got to sacrifice and do it. So, that's some good orange juice. That, that's simply. Simply delicious. Okay, next question. Which is more difficult, relationship breakups or friend breakups? Um, I would have to say... A friend breakup because your friend is just has been there longer sometimes it takes that and let me tell you I have let so many people in my life and my my life is now beginning y'all like I don't know how to e even explain it my life is just beginning and it's like God was like how many times do I have to show you that this is that you need to get these people out of your life like I was kind of fed up with my relationship anyway, so it was like I wasn't myself in my relationship, so which is why and how this di didn't work out. And no, it wasn't me though. I like I was trying to be myself, but this person was not allowing me to be myself. Like had restrictions on what I could say and shit. Like, bro, you get out of my face. Anyway, don't don't get me to ranting. But um. With friendships, it's like, like, I've been invested in you as a friend all this time, and you just, that you just, the friends are kind of the people that you tell most of your stuff to, like, you tell your man a lot of things, um, but there's a lot of things that you just tell your homegirl, you know, so, I would just say a friend, a friendship is, but. It depends on, you know, because, I mean, your man is your friend, too. So, just depends on how your relationship is. Um, the other question was, where vacations do I see myself going on in 2019? And, y'all, I don't know. I, I want to go. I want to go somewhere everywhere. I'm talking with a lot of people, and I'm just like, where you want to go? Where you want to go? Um, I want to go to Japan. I want to go... I want to go back to Jamaica, but I actually, no, I don't. I want to go to new places. I want to go to Japan. I want to go to Thailand. I want to go. I don't know. I just want to go places, man. Anywhere you want to go. Anywhere you want to go, then that's where we going. I said it because I know exactly who asked that question. <gasps> Have I made real friends in the influencer community um, besides Jalen? No, not really. Like... And when I, when, when you say, when I think of a real friend, I think of somebody who, like, constantly checks in. Like, I, there's a lot of people that I, um, I like that are, you know, seem pretty cool, but we haven't gotten to that level of, dang, we haven't gotten to that level of, like, FaceTiming each other or, like, opening up to each other or anything like that. So the only person I have is Jalen, which is Natural Rain here on YouTube. What advice would you give 15-year-old Kimberly and what are some of my 2019 goals? Um, um, don't go to college. This is a whole nother topic, guys. I did not mean to say it like that, but that is the advice I would give myself. Actually, I would give myself, don't go to college because you already know exactly what you want to do. I, y'all, I... If y'all was on my live, you kind of got a good gist of how I feel about it. But I um, I kind of always knew I was going to be or I wanted to be 
in the entertainment type of world just because like I used to be very I a good dancer I used to be a good singer not to say that's actually what I wanted to do but I just was very I'm very talented and so I just feel like I did not want to just sit at a desk all day with my talent so I don't know I because I wanted to go to dance school after graduating but I never even looked into it like at all I didn't I didn't do anything about that like I didn't even tell my mom that's what I wanted to do and I just kind of regret it because I other than gaining relationships in college it doesn't it did nothing for me and create a debt like it just didn't do anything for me and then working as a recruiter you kind of see that most of these positions um don't or most of the companies that you aspire to work in don't even require college degrees so um I just wish I would have done more as far as like working interning just to kind of figure out what I wanted to do like I should have went around to some of the small businesses talked to some of those people you know just at 15 you don't think about that but when I'm raising my child oh yes she will be thinking about that she will be talking to business owners and stuff like that and you know, if she wants to do that, you know, we're going to talk about what you want to do. Because sending her to college is not the first, going to be my first priority in life. Because I feel like it's a scam. It's, it's becoming a scam because so many people have college degrees and they are not using them. But anyway, enough of that nonsense. That's what I'll tell Kim <laughs> at 15. Somebody said, we never saw the relationship video where you talked about your last relationship. What's the tea, sis? Girl, the tea is that that mug is not worth my time. <laughs> it's like I want to I wanna tell y'all, but, like, I get bored talking about them. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm just, I'm mad at myself for even putting myself in that relationship, honestly. You know, so I don't know. I might tell y'all a little later, but it's kind of boring. And I'm over him, and I like other people. So I don't want them to come on here and think I give a damn because I don't. Have, what do I do to have so much movement in my hair? Girl, you ain't watched my video, my shaping video. Y'all slipping. You slipping on your pimping. What inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Um, Y'all. I don't know. Like I said, I always knew I wanted to like entertain or be on camera and stuff. And I just, I don't know. I just wanted to do it. I've been doing it for so long. Cause, so like I really have no idea. It was before people even got paid on YouTube. Like it was just for fun. I had, I reviewed some shoes, <laughs> and I, it's so funny, I reviewed so many, like, I used to review shoes, and then I started reviewing wigs and stuff. I always knew I liked doing hair. Ever since I was, um, a kid, I just kind of had a, I, like, loved hair, like, hair was life to me, like, but it, people saw me as hair, like, everybody saw me as, like, the girl with long hair, and so... I was like, I like hair, <laughs> but I like sharing my life. People relate to me, so I like doing that, and it was cool. But, yeah, it's so long ago, y'all. I got a bad memory. I don't know why I started, okay? Then one of my ex-boyfriends bought me a camera, and it was it was just golden from there. <laughs> Would you come visit Jamaica? Yeah, I've already visited Jamaica. I love Jamaica. It's cute. How consistent should you be when trying to be successful on social media platforms? Yo. You need to post a lot. I don't know how consistent. On Instagram, it just depends on your audience. But I know I should be posting every day right now. And I, I don't post on Instagram because I'm focused on YouTube. But you have to be very consistent. Because when people find you, um, they don't want to wait too long to see you again. Okay? It's like a date. It's like you're dating somebody. You know? If you go on a date with a guy, how, how long before you want to see him again if you like him? You want to wait till next week? Or have you lost interest by next week? I was just thinking about him and he texted me. If you weren't on a YouTuber, what would your profession be? I was a recruiter, guys, so I've just left that world. What keeps me up at night not having these videos um, edited, uploaded, and ready to go? <laughs> My plans and hopes for next year. I want to meet more people. I want to just have fun. I want to... I don't know. I don't know. And I don't, I don't just want to meet people that's like in the natural hair community. I want to meet people 
like, I am Zoe. Like, I want to meet those people, like, the big people. Because I just love their energy. They just seem so nice. And he's in Atlanta. So, yeah, I would love to meet him. And, I don't know, laugh. I just want to laugh. <laughs> My whole life is, is just, I just want to laugh, okay? <laughs> Y'all can miss me with all this seriousness. I just want to laugh. We're going to have to answer the rest of these questions. Um, We're going to have to answer the rest of these questions, y'all, like, on a live or something, because I can't get through all these. I like being open, y'all. I don't really, I feel like I've been closed off all throughout high school, and, like, I just haven't been myself. I haven't been this open in life, and it feels good, okay? It feels so good. I know when to calm it down. I'm a grown ass. I'm 28 years old. Y'all ain't gonna know more than I want you to know. But I've learned so much in my life that there are so many of you guys who are younger than me that may, um, you know, want advice sometimes, and I'm okay to give it. I just see that life is a lot better when people just kind of open up and stop being so secretive about things. Because not everything you need to be so secretive about because people are going through the same things you're going through. And if you don't want to help people, then that's fine. You stay your private self over there. Like, we trying, I'm trying to help people over here. I bet y'all looking at my curls like, bitch, I don't care what you talk about. Your curls popping. Girl, you my kind of girl. Huh. You my kind of girl. Anyway, I feel like when I be reading stuff, I can't just necessarily be myself. I'm just like trying. I, I'm, I'm multitasking right now. That's what it is. So I was like, I ain't cracked a joke the whole time. I'm just being serious and stuff. That felt real draining to me. I don't know why. It just that felt draining. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, we gotta stop answering the question. I'm just gonna start talking because that's what I feel like doing. Mascara by Nars. It's so futuristic and cute, but it's actually a good mascara. I like it. Gives my lashes that boost, you know? Okay. Okay. So, this is the completed look. So, I hope you guys like this chit chat. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comment section below. I enjoyed talking to you guys. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.